ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Rise of Kingdoms gameplay from your very own Shappy Gaming. Today we are going to be talking about the new Rise of Kingdoms PC version, whether you should get it or not, and kind of the pros and cons. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's going to be right over there, bottom right hand corner. And if you missed previous episode of something, it's going to be linked on the top right of the screen. So go check it out. But, to provide a little context, I have been playing Rise of Kingdoms on PC for about three months. Uh, I've been using it, demoing it. It's been great. Um, initial reactions, really smooth, really great. Uh, my build, I'm playing on a Ryzen 5 3600X with a RTX 3070. I've had no problems, no very few frame drops. I don't have very many complaints, which is awesome. But let me talk about kind of why you should get the PC version, what the advantages are, what the disadvantages are, and all of that. So first thing I would say, if you are a YouTuber, the PC version is essential. And the reason I say that is that using Bluestacks is really kind of hairy, especially if you're trying to record your game. And using an ipad is impossible because you can't really get the face cam you have to go through a whole bunch of other configurations my setup for recording rise of kingdoms is incredibly simple i open the game i open obs i click record and i click game capture it's that easy um but don't start getting into rise of kingdoms youtube videos it's my domain um and so the pc version is really 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 useful for that it also is really flexible the issue I had when trying to play on Bluestacks is I can't use my mouse for everything in Bluestacks. And on the PC version of Rise of Kingdoms, everything is optimized really well. Uh, you can do pretty much everything with just your mouse. You don't have to do keyboard shortcuts. You can if you want, but you don't have to. Um, and if you want to zoom in or out, you just scroll with your mouse wheel and you can move around. I mean, it's really, really well thought out. I don't like Lilith a lot of the time, and I'll have a video coming out probably in the next couple days talking about how the game has changed over the years. So again, you'll want to hit that subscribe button. Uh, but this has been done really, really well. Uh, let's talk about battle, lag, frame drops, etc. So I've used the PC version for battling, and I have really not experienced very many frame drops. In fact, I actually prefer the PC version. Uh, I play arc on pc i've played kvks on pc and i don't get very many frame drops um when i am on my cell phone which is an iphone 12 i do get frame drops and sometimes i'll get crashing so it seems the pc version is ironically more stable than the normal rise of kingdoms so just keep that in mind if you're like hey you know i'm in war i'm tired of frame dropping i'm tired of you know crashes very few very few crashes have I seen thus far. Um, the disadvantages. Emojis. So there are no emojis that you can really see here. Um, and so if someone's sending emojis, you can't see them. There also used to be a bug where if you said anything and then you put a period and then you hit shift, but it looks like they fixed that. So occasionally you'll get the chat pop in and out. But aside from that, I mean, that's really it. So definitely can't complain. This game has been very well thought out. Let's talk about why Lilith did it. My hunches and suspicions. Uh, so for one thing, this allows them to expand their user demographic. You know, Rise of Kingdoms has been very popular on cell phones. Uh, but there's no reason why it couldn't focus on PC as well. Or Mac. And so... I think they've probably done it to expand their user demographic, which would make sense. The other thing that someone pointed out on Facebook, uh, which was brilliant, is the payment processing. So on Apple, if you go to make a purchase, Apple will skim 30% of that purchase off the top. And there was a big lawsuit about it. You can look it up with Epic Games. Um, and Epic Games tried to skirt around this and got in trouble. Well, by releasing Rise of Kingdoms on PC, Lilith has now made it so you can go in and purchase bundles and such without having to go through Apple. 
this makes them much more money because they're now pocketing all five dollars in my purchase whereas previously they'd only pocket about three dollars and so this has been brilliant for them i'm really excited to see what they do uh to enhance this even further right now they're definitely at parity i have no complaints i would use this day in day out uh and if you need a little bit more incentive they just released a new event called pc version bonus which gives you some stuff you get a 5,000 training expansion you get some gold keys you get some crystal keys i mean i really like it so how do you install rise of kingdoms pc version so the way that i did it is i went to the uh youtube channel of lilith games and in their most recent post uh they actually linked the download for the PC version. I'll make your life easy. I'm gonna go grab that link and I'll just drop it in the description below so you can check it out, you can download it, you can do your own thing. And that is the plan. So this has been a short, concise, hopefully beneficial video. I hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As I said, I will be talking about you know, Rise of Kingdoms over the years. And I've been playing for three years. I just got my achievement for it. So I've got some strong thoughts for you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed. Shappy out.